Yo, what's up, YouTube? Jay Travelini here. And today I got my first post merge update on my mining farm. Unfortunately, it's not the greatest of news as a lot of rigs are off, but I do still have one or two on, and we'll go over what they're mining, why I'm mining it, and my plans for the future of this farm. And also, one big upgrade that I made to the farm, and we'll go over that uh, in this video. So let's get to it. So the first two rigs I'm going to go over is my for the win rig that's right here which is off and my other rig which is off which is my frankenstein rig they are turned off because they both suck up a lot of power a couple empty frames here i got plans for possibly building in the future as you can see up here zero and zero in the power bank so those are off but over here we have Tebge, which is actually on, and that is Mining Flux. So I left that one on the Mine Flux. And then this is my another rig that's off, my 20 series rig that's off, another empty frame. But then I have my 2x3060 PC still running, and that is on Flux. So pretty much just going Flux heavy with my farm right now. And I do plan on leaving these on, even though I am losing money daily. But I was losing way too much daily after the ETH merge. I did switch a couple rigs over to ETH W. I switched a couple rigs over to Ergo and I switched a couple rigs and I left that. I didn't switch but left them on Flux which this is one of them. So that's just mining Flux. I'm going to leave it that way for now um, and just leave it. Try and get some Flux even though it's probably I went from earning probably 10 Flux a day to, down to like 2 with both rigs on. Uh, I have been tempted to shut this rig off and just leave the one rig on it but for now it's still going uh, and then this pc is garbage these are not garbage I mean, it works but i'm not get, going to get rid of it these are 3d printed stands for code red mining for his cpu mining rigs so he can just put them on the stands and use them i think they go this way and the board sits on it and then you can screw into it they're not printed all that great but they should work for what he needs so i gotta get them actually shipped off to him and i got two more on it even though he only asked for a few chilling on there a couple things i do have running are my two flux nodes so these are still going strong now i did have a little trouble setting up the second node but i ended up getting it going pretty good uh, but i do have plans on possibly converting coins into flux and running more nodes now these are actually profitable uh, I think I calculated it today. Not huge numbers, but I think I'll make an average of seven to eight dollars per month profit on these. These run about ten watts each. These Chewy PCs, so I'm spending about four cents per day to run each one of these. So about eight cents per node. So eight cents total. So between the two Chewy PCs, I'm spending about yeah ten cents a day. So. If you calculate that, I'm spending about $3 and maybe we'll, even on a safe side, we'll say $3.50 per month to run these. Uh, and I'm probably going to be calculated to earn about $25. Now, these are rough estimates. The power consumption is more accurate than my actual earnings estimate. I, I didn't go too in depth with how much they're running. But if you guys want a video on my flux nodes and what I expect to earn on them, I can do another video on that. Just let me know in the comments below and I can make a video on that. One upgrade I did to the farm that you guys saw in my flux node videos was my 20, my 16 port is now a much bigger 24 port. Now this is a gigabit switch. My other one was only a 10 by 100 megabyte switch. So this is much faster. I needed this to run my flux nodes. So that is a pretty big upgrade to my farm uh, i do have gigabit internet but that was probably the one biggest upgrade i made and then inside my tent everything is off uh my founders edition rigs off my 6600 xt rig is off now this is actually my most efficient rig but on flux i just don't think it's as good as my tebge rig uh so i just left that on i may try it on other algorithms but Right now, it's just off. I do plan on cleaning some stuff, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. And then this is my, technically my What the Flux rig, but this rig is actually going to get broken down. Uh, it's got four GPUs left on it. My 3060 Ti ended up going off to a gaming rig. 
and that came out awesome for my friend's daughter. It was a little bit of an upgrade. My two 2080 Ti's I'll keep. I think I'm gonna put them on my Founders Edition rig. Then I'll have these two GPUs, my 3070. I think I'm gonna put it inside of my Frankenstein rig and get the 3060 Ti that's a pretty poor performer out of it and possibly put it into a gaming rig. Uh, and then my 2080 Super, I don't know what I'm gonna do with, but I'm, I am gonna keep it. Uh, I just don't know. I might put it on my test bench because it'll match with it perfectly and just run that in my office during the winter, maybe on flux. I know it's a little bit extra power draw, but it'll also help heat my office just a tiny bit. Uh, and I do spend some time in there editing these videos. Now let's go to the big upgrade. Now this is the biggest thing that I have done to the farm and it's huge for me. This is on the other side of my basement. As you can hear, probably got quieter with the fans and boom, 200 amp service that a friend of mine came over and helped hook up for me and left it completely blank. Now he is also a crypto miner, so he knew what I was doing with it and why I wanted it. He left my old panel in here and pulled some of the large power draw out and put like my range and condenser in here and left my other sub panel that I originally had in place with a hundred amp wire. And now these run, these two run my whole entire mining farms right now. And the plan is eventually I wanna get some ASICs and I'm gonna start filling these. He's gonna teach me how to make my own outlets, which he told me isn't hard. He can just talk me through it on the phone. Teach me how to safely do it and also run 240, uh, 240 volt 20 amps so i can run some a6 and i want i'm hoping to get a couple s19 pros but i'm also looking at some other stuff right now i just don't have the funds to buy it so i'm slowly saving i also want to run solar eventually and do a grid tie so i'll need some space down here i think they say you're supposed to put it the furthest down on i don't know i gotta i gotta research some more and see but i would like to eventually move my storage rack over put some inverters over here and tap them into a grid tie. Now I might do a grid tie and a battery bank. I'm not sure, but this was the huge upgrade that I did and I've been putting it off for a while. And it's funny that I wait till a crypto winter and bear market to actually do it, but I'll have a lot I can do. And you can see the 200 amp line ran from the outside and then a hundred amp ran wire ran to this panel. So this has the hundred amp main on it. This is my old panel that I was running my whole house on. So I was pulling 260 amp, 240 out of this, plus my condenser. So I was running a lot of juice out of this 100 amp main. So I was probably pushing that almost to its limit. He did come over and say I was pretty safe because I was not heating up wires. Like this wire was pretty cool. And the original wire that was coming out of the house was still fairly cool. So he just wanted to get this in and give me some room to expand. So I wanted 200 amp service anyway, but he got it in here nice and safe for me, grounded it. So it's all up to code. The only thing I still have to do for code is install this GFI panel circuit, which he left for me. I just don't know where it is and it'll go right here. By code in my jurisdiction, I need to have this so that they can test the panel to make sure it's in. So he left that stuff for me and said he just didn't get to do it because he was in a little bit of a time crunch. So I'll do that over the next few days, hopefully get that in so I'm fully up to code. But everything else is up to code in my jurisdiction. So we're ready to pretty much put some more stuff into my farm. Um, right now, GPU wise, I don't think I'm going to do any more, but I want to get some ASICs. But that's where I'm at with my farm. Uh, I don't know. Where I'm going to go, maybe get a few CPUs, but I definitely want ASICs, whether they're mini ASICs uh, for Grin, iPolos for ETC or ETH. Well, I guess not ETH, but for ETC or anything else that comes on the ETH hash or even some Kadena miners. We'll see what I find, what comes down cheap. I'm waiting for the market to come down just a little bit more, but thanks for checking this video out. Let me know what you guys are doing. If you guys are shut down, if you're still mining, if you're holding strong, I don't plan on selling any more GPUs, maybe one more, but I still really think I'm not going to sell. I might just upgrade my girlfriend's PC with a 3060 Ti, even though it's not needed. But, you know, let me know what you guys are doing. Thanks for checking this out and stay tuned for more videos.